Hi guys, I'm Mihai from DNN Sharp and today I'm going to show you one of the latest features in Action Form. You've probably seen on all the websites out there a map with the location of the business. Uh, if you want to show that as well on your website, you just have to add an Action Form Google Maps field. Before showing you that, I must tell you that all the tutorials we release can be found on our blog page blog.dnnsharp.com slash 1001 and in order to get notified every time we upload a new video tutorial you should subscribe to our YouTube channel because all the videos also go to the YouTube channel. As I said today I'm going to show you how to display your business position on a Google map and also how to collect the position from your users. The latest addition to action form, the Google Maps field, is easy to set up. You just add the Google Maps field to the form. You need to provide it an API key, which you get from Google, and then you need to provide it latitude and longitude coordinates for where the marker is supposed to be shown. Um, you can display only one marker, or you can display multiple markers on one map with the mention that the field has a setting to zoom the map and fit all markers in, um, in the viewable area. Starting with the latest form version 50656 the latitude and longitude, as long as the name for the marker, can be provided with tokens. It's either fill tokens or my tokens. And starting with the same version, 50656, you can also add circles to display a radius around a marker on the map. So here I've displayed the DNN Sharp uh, office building location at latitude 1 and longitude 1 token and also displayed a circle at the same coordinates with a 500 meters radius. Um, this is very easy to be configured. What's to be known about this uh, field is that it can be used to display data but also to collect data from the user. For example, if you add the field on a form and you want to let your user select a location on the map, the user just has to click on the map in order to add a marker. And then on submit, the field generates tokens for the latitude and longitude of the markers or the single marker on the field. Field name colon lat and field name colon long generate the latitude and longitude for one marker or you can get the field name colon markers which is basically a JSON array of all the markers contained on the map. I'm going to show you this functionality right now by just adding a simple button on my form and on this button, I'm going to use a display message. Let's use display error so that the form doesn't disappear. And let's get the token that contains the JSON with all the markers. I'm going to save, I'm going to refresh my uh, form. So initially the form only has two markers, which it came with. But if I click on the field and submit, there they are. Three markers with their latitude and longitude. 
you can save them in your database in order to show them at a later time and so on. I hope you will be using this field in your future implementations and see you again for another tutorial. Bye!